Only three weeks into the season and the Diamondbacks have already been bit by the injury bug. As much like in real life, Mark Trumbo will be hitting the 60-day DL. And A.J. Pollock will be called up to the MLB team to fill his spot in Lytle for the time being. Today we got a matchup against the St. Louis Cardinals, probably the best organization in baseball at this point. Glad to have you along here in St. Louis. And probably the best for Diamondbacks system. baseball. Uh, Next. I'll put them and the Mets up there with a probably the best farm system in the MLB. A nice baseball from Bush Stadium in St. Louis. It's the finale of this three-game uh, series between the Diamondbacks. Okay the guys will have Kirk much Gibson's more to talk about today, as the night progresses, but first, Carl let's get Montero a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Arizona Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. We are as manager Kirk Gibson sets his one through nine up this way. They'll match up against this young man, prized prospect right-hander Shelby Miller. In 60 innings pitch, so he has about a 9 Ks per 9, which is a very good rate, and he is going to get a K here as the run stands. Good so pitch there, as he swung out and he missed for the, the first, first batter to be down. Now, Gerardo Parra is going to strike out with him. He takes strike three ball, balls, but, and it's a pair of punch outs you know, that begin the ball game. We didn't get anything going that inning. Now the starting here lineup for the Cardinals They're looks like this. Yeah, Carpenter leading off for just Craig Adams. Molina, which is a really strange lineup. They had like Matt Holiday hitting sixth and Molina hitting fifth. They had Adams in front of both of them. Here's the left to work Wade against Miley, a guy who's really blossomed in the desert the past Overall few years. Left hander Wade Miley. Over the last two years, he's had ERA of about 3.5. Uh, right here we go, though. So we got Matt Carpenter leading off the game. He's going to go. First, first batter of the game. Four so the lead off man is on here in the home half. Doesn't want to do that often. But he is going to get a and ground ball. ball, 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 ball so it was more like a fly ball. But it ends up being a double play. Of course, Boy, this is just a gift right in the ball game. And that would get us here in the second inning. We have, I believe... Martin Prado at and bat. Fastball walk. misses there. Ball four. Um, five pitches. Yeah, that's nice uh, to see a little one count, I guess. Um, here he but comes here on we go. Two and one. We're gonna get Owings. Now He's gonna try and get something ball going well here, there but right center. not deep Rick enough to get the ball. So we end up just being a flyout. We don't get anything going that inning. Wade Miley here gets. The batter just ground on out. On the ground a very good throw by Prado. With it now is Prado. Throw on to first will be in. Looking to see what we can do. Trying to possibly trade him. We don't know though. He is one of the better bats in our lineup. Here we get a Pollock got strikes him. out on a really good curveball that I didn't see as good. Let's I know they have a really good batter vibe, but I just didn't see that the best right there. And then Miley, I don't know why they have that in the miss as he starts to play with back to back strikeouts here. The zone. Because uh, I, I checked clearly, he didn't go across, but here we go, Prado showcasing the on the ground again, is going to give up a single, that will be the first base hit of the ball and game. they have a batter Shelby on Miller here, they're going to try and bump with Shelby Miller, Goldsmith decides to get the lead runner at second, and so they don't There's quite one. get the first and time, the not a double play, but they get there. one he out, and not strike. get anything going that inning, finally here. Changed up on him here, the this is grounded to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Trying to get some going for the Cardinals here. One thing you're talking about, he ends up kicking right off the heel of his right. glove. Peter Borges will come forward now. Here they're going to get the base loaded. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that will prevent the runner at third. Here we got Gerardo Parra here with a 3-2 count in the fourth inning, and they would get nothing. And Parra is going to get a and this fly ball. ball swung on and skied out towards center field, field for baseball. Borges. He's and going he's to got it for out number one. I want to take a little bit of time here to talk about what's going to be coming with the channel soon. Um, this is the third video of the Diamondbacks Frank. And he puts a pretty good jolt into this uh, one. Final I video of the Mets Frank. And Frank. he will make the catch just shy of the track and the inning is over. It will probably be the next video that comes out. I want to try and get that out tomorrow or here Sunday. Comes. Tomorrow being Saturday at the point I'm recording this commentary. As they get things Adams with well, a big swing and launches this one out to deep right field. Matt Adams and that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. That's what I was saying. The Yankees and he will coast in the second with a lead. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. Started. You just got to protect the plate. Swing and a line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move. After that, he's going to have a few trade ideas and possibilities. 
Here we go. With the slider that time, and it's driven to Cardinals deep right field. Hara back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Looking to get a third here, Wade Miley throws a slider, and it's and very low, but it into the air out towards it's very field. It gets a lot under that, and it goes out to center field. But the Nards fan speed the least and excellent fielding ability his guys don't get him uh, allow him to catch the fly ball. Right. Mark Ellis gets called out on strikes strike. here, and then immediately after it, uh, Shelby Miller's going to single into right Mine field. Hard to center field. In front of the Nards and that'll get down for a base hit. With giving up hits to pitchers. It's very strange. But here comes another a strike out here. Carpenter's And now a slider strikes. in there for a called third strike. And there are the two gone now. In the corner, it it's three. one and two. No, it's He's be closing in on putting up yet Prado does another there nicely. zero. And he runs the first in plenty of time. So, as you can see, we had no hits up to this point. So I decided to sim and get some offense the top going. Of that and we end up getting four straight walks and scoring a run. And then Montero hits a sack fly. Prado drives in another run. And then Carlos Martinez comes in, and he walks in another run. So we scored four runs, only getting one hit the whole inning. It's a case and where he's just trying to do that opens anything up four to get his guys Wade Miley board. can't feel that, and Rendon will actually... In front. I, I watched this and, and I thought he had him, him in time. First. He's he's aboard easily. Right there, one and two. I thought he had him in time, but I guess he didn't. But they're going to score a run here. The gap in left center, center, and that's going to be down for extra bases. Double for... Who's Matt Adams here? Around sure. third and being it's waved on home. Not and they'll get back to run here as they're 0 2. Here is. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to I forgot to write down that. No. So, right um, field. But he's going to fly out. So and they'll no only get one the run. Former gold glover. And Shelby Miller. And now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area. So it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Randy Choke. Veteran left now and he'll slide into the. Choke will enter the game. And the first thing he does is another he gets two two pro, offering. Or, uh, Wade Miley. Got him. So he's he's down down to keep Miley in the game because he's only give up that one run. It now would, on two and two, I don't it think you can around. It looks good if they lose a good decision. Now a slider that swung on and hit in the air out toward the left. Of him, as Pollard you can see, will get his bounce. Got Pollard. him through the seven. Now another this one two. Strikeout swinging right here. So swing and a miss as all he could do was reach out in vain for that one and the side is retired. Got two Down in order, go the card. We're gonna sim again because we have a three-run lead, and I don't think I'm gonna do anything that great if I play. Prado hits a home run, drives in Goldschmidt, his fifth home run of the year. Owings gets on, but Rendon grounds into a double play. Oops, six to one. Peter Borges. And here's where trouble would start for Wade Miley. Off, in the eighth this inning. Top of the First pitch swinging, he's gonna get on the base so there. We have to line up right here. Right here. Peter Borges, who got on base. So apparently the table and here, Alan Craig, first right pitch swinging again. He's going to get on. So it's looking like now it's going to be a little bit of trouble for Wade Miley. Field. But we do decide to keep him in, try and get him out of the game. Quickly, so so the we only have one, one man but up in the bullpen. But Matt Adams hits a three-run home run. Another first pitch swing. So this can see Wade Miley. He's not going to be affected going forward in this game. So we would break in. Right-hander Josh Colmenter. Now you see Diamondbacks seven manager Kurt Gibson out of, out of the dugout and, and on his way to the mound. Gonna yeah, he's gonna I, I like he's going to make a change. That's going to challenge the ball on strike. This game, which is not a good idea at all because I think the starter now is going to go ball. ball. And, and this is past him at third down the line. Well, it's a fair ball. But man gets on there. John, John James is coming off the bench here. He'll pinch hit with a possible go ahead run here. Waits in the on deck circle. And the on the ground a second. Did he get his double play? After on the goal. Run. Here we go. Cole Mentor is left in the game. The players don't there. understand. He's got I don't five understand. pitches. Like three and he's going to use all. Already, but we do get an extra run before Addison Reed would come in for the save in a three-run game. He gets a strikeout here on the and first batter. And here's a Strike three called. And that'll and be the second first batter on a 1-0 count. The first he's out. going to single. Greg Garcia is in for the second, second time baseline. here as he looks at a ball high. One Not going to turn it anymore, and though. That is Not hit very hard. 1-2 count. Next batter. He's going to fly out to right field. Uh, had to protect Para on will one and two, nice and this is a there. fly ball out Actually, to straightaway right field. No, Para, Para is there to put it away, but and the runner will two be out two out here in the ninth. Goldsmith's going to step on the bag at first. Hit hard on the the first. So that's going to be step it. Diamondbacks going to 6 I was kind of surprised by the result of the game. Well, I think that just yeah. cements four something that we already inning. knew. Four Reed is one of the best young closers in the game, and he works the final inning here to earn himself a save. Shelby Miller gave up. 
along with Carlos Martinez, really came back to bite the Cardinals. They tried to rally, but they couldn't. As and Reed, as Reed continues his dominant season. Uh, our hitters really need to get it on track, though. We're trying to contend this year, and I don't think we have a single 275 hitter in the lineup right now. Trumbo was hitting 330, but he is out for two months, so it's going to suck. We're trying to trying to get some good hitting here, but we could also look at OVP. We don't know. We are going to try and make a trade to improve our offense at some point this season, uh, possibly involving Marquis Prado. We'll see. Here's your uh, recap for the entire game. That's going to do it for me. Next episode will be taking on I don't remember who we take on next episode. I wanna say it's I don't know. We'll leave it as a mystery. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Offensively the Diamondbacks tonight relied heavily on the work of this man, Martin Prado. Strike a pose, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a couple of hits, but more importantly, that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Diamondbacks are victorious here, 7-4. to four. Good night from St. Louis. Time of the ball game, three hours and 23 minutes. Tonight's main attendance at Bush Stadium, a sellout of 46,000. The Cardinals would like to thank you for joining us in baseball heaven and remind you to please drive home safely. Have a good night.